Welcome back to another video. I figured I'd redo the intro of the video real quick. It's actually our last day. We're leaving right now to head home. It's only 6.30 in the morning. But I think we're ready to go home. There's just too many people down here. It's traffic is chaos right now. And every trail has just been traffic. Just due to the pandemic, I guess. Everybody's wanting to get out and do something now. Everything's opening back up. We're gonna head home. We've enjoyed the stay at the cabin. The cabin's been amazing. Uh, I think we've used a hot tub every freaking day just because it's been nice to have and been able to relax anytime we're here. But I don't know if we'll be coming back to Gallenberg if the amount of tourists is, or if there's as many people as there have been this year. Because this year's been insane. And I think it's safe to say that we're definitely beach people, not mountain people. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the car and uh, you guys enjoy the video. We have this cabin for the next uh, couple days. We didn't bring the Mustang. I'll explain that here shortly, but I'm glad we didn't. Camera kind of flattens everything out, but you come down this gravel road. And it's straight up. I also haven't shown you guys what I did to the cruise. We got rid of the front plate for one, finally. And two, we got this. Uh, New vinyl on here on all the bow ties. And then did right here. And then I attempted this. Looks okay from a distance, but as you can see there's like a couple creases and stuff. I'm not very good with vinyl. We also have a hot tub, which is great. I'm excited. Means I'll show you around the place real quick. When you come in here you got your little living area, your kitchen, the uh, dinner maker. One year ago. My chef. One year ago, look how little he was. Don't mind my alcoholics. Sorry. Not at all. Definitely not a problem. And then you got, you know, washer and dryer. Sorry, this is a... You got a little, yeah, half bath in here. It's pretty neat. Not at all. That's why you closed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god. I knew you were gonna do that. We'll come back to that later. Uh, anyways, this is called the, this cabin's called the Patriot. If you can't tell by all the, don't make those noises. Oh, it is toasty up here right now. It is toasty up there. But here's the full bath. There are no neighbors, which is awesome. And this place is super cool. It's 65 until 10, 15 PM. Let's turn it back down again. Okay. But you got your, Bedroom, foosball, you little mirror. Hey. It's here. Oh, you're over there. Okay. And then we have the other balcony. Does smell like stain out here. And more Marco. So yeah, this is our little getaway for a couple days and I am super super happy to be out of Ohio for a little bit. This place is super cool. Yeah it is. I'm I really super like sweaty. It. It's been a very long day. 
We got a late start. Um, I wish I would have brought the Mustang, but let's sit down and talk about that real quick. The other day, I decided, oh, I'm gonna put brake pads on the Mustang. So I bought the brake pads. They were really nice power stop pads. And then, uh, go to put them on. The pistons pushed back properly, which is fine. Uh, one of the sliders was acting funny. Didn't think anything of it. So I just kind of slapped the caliper back in there on the driver's side and took it for a little, well, I realized that the wheels weren't really moving much. And I thought that maybe taking it for a little test drive would be, would it fix it? Took it for a test drive. It didn't fix anything. The whole thing just kind of smelled terrible. The brakes were just smoking and everything else. It wasn't very fun. Well then, decided to fix that. So I got new calipers. Um, turns out I need a new bracket because what had happened was a slider pin on the driver's side caliper had basically welded itself inside the bracket, which I've never seen before in my life. Luckily, somebody had a caliper with a bracket that was in stock. So I went there, I picked one up, get back, put it all back together. Calipers are all painted, good to go. Take it for a drive, everything's fine. And this morning, we were going to take the Mustang on the trip, but I wanted to take it to get groceries and stuff before we left because with the current pandemic and everything, I really don't want to go to the grocery and a bunch of places we don't need to down here because we're in a different state. Back home, it's not as bad because we're in the middle of BFE, basically. So, <laughs> take it for a drive. I get stuck in first gear. Not like completely stuck. Um, but enough to make me worried about taking it on a five hour drive. So we decided not to take it, and I'm glad we didn't because there is no way that the Mustang would have made it up this driveway. This place is super nice, but man, that was steep. So yeah, when I get home, I think Brady's dropping my car off at uh, my parents' garage tonight after work at some point. Maybe I'll convert him to being part of the Coyote Gang. I told him it was having issues and he offered to drive it over there, which is really nice of him. I really appreciate that. But anyways, I'm going to get some more stuff uh, unpacked and eat dinner finally. Now I'll get back with you later. A few moments later. I got to admit something. I, I screwed up big time. Today, we were going to go out, we were going to do a bunch of stuff, and then I forgot my memory card for my camera. So I wandered around with a paperweight all day. Uh, we've seen a lot of interesting stuff, such as nobody really has acknowledged that there's a pandemic going on nobody's wearing masks down here there's people everywhere down in gatlinburg uh we went over to uh roaring fork which is a drive-through park you just stay in your car and kind of cruise around to one lane one way God, that door is the door is so loud oh, okay and to fill the hot tub back up because apparently when you turn the jet on Shoots all the water out. Turn it off. Yeah. Do me a favor, turn that jet on real quick. It does that. Oh, you can turn it off now. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah. I don't trust her. Ugh. So now we're gonna we're getting the grill ready. She getting toasty. Oh my god, I fogged up the camera. So yeah, I have messed up entirely, but today's been a pretty good day. It's been a little chaotic. I also went down by Quaker Steak, if you're not familiar with that, in Gatlinburg. There's a cool mural that went up in 2017 for Bunnies in the Smokies, which still haven't made it down to, but one day I'll take the Mustang down, hopefully. We won't have brake or transmission issues. But other than that, we're just gonna kinda chill and relax in the hot tub and eat some ribs. <laughs> My God. So today is day what, three of vacation, I think. Uh, so today I actually remembered my SD card, finally. So I'll actually be able to film some stuff. But we're going to Cades Cove to just kind of... I like that most Anyways, we're going to go to Cades Cove. I'm going to film and you know the rest. Oh, they're up at the fence. So no stopping, huh? No stopping. <laughs> <laughs> they're so 
so cute. I get to need one. It ain't November yet. Hey, friend. I got one of your brothers in the car, wrapped up oh, in a, oh, a oh, wrap. Shit, you look at oh. <laughs> he did not like that. <laughs> I upset him because we got turkey wraps with us. Oh. So just like yesterday when we went to Roaring Fork and I forgot my SD card, we're stuck in traffic. On a freaking motor trail. You're supposed to be doing like 20 through here, but we're just... Yeah, it, why? Yesterday we got stuck on a mountain for over an hour because of it. Yeah. Today we're stuck in the middle of a field. I've never seen traffic on these before. Anytime I've ever been here in the past, at least not that I've remembered. Uh, because if it was, I probably wouldn't come back. It was this, also like 10 years ago. So. Yeah, but this five years ago, and this is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this. Vacation season, vacation season this year is just chaotic. This is what happens when you leave everybody cooped up for months, I guess. Oh, I'm getting wet. I think it's just water from the trees. <sighs> Every time I hear that noise, it's a reminder I'm gonna have to just give you new calipers, pads, and rotors up front. Yep. Happening today? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's happening tomorrow? Nope. Is it happening anytime soon? Probably not, but we'll see. It's getting close, man. Yay, a bear. This is the reason why traffic? we've been in traffic this entire there's time. Is because there's a bear. So we've been in traffic multiple times now. The first time was because there was a bear. The second time was because somebody was trying to go the wrong way down the one way. And now we've taken, or taken another path. So yeah, yeah, now it's because there's a bear. Which I'm all excited for, or I would have been. You didn't have to stay at the Christmas place. Oh my god. Can you imagine just Christmas the entire... I, I wonder if it's like Christmas themed in there. I'm sure it is. We're going to look this up. I'm curious. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I'm actually out of my parents now. We made it back from, from Gatlinburg on a trip. Uh, looks like it's actually gonna rain, but I had to pick up another car because I'm supposed to be detailing this one. And then uh, this is like, oh, there's Lucy. She's wanting to say hey. But I've been trying to get as many cars as I could so that I could afford to do more on this trip that we did. And then I had to order more parts for that thing, which you'll see soon because I can't stop buying parts for the car because everything keeps going bad. So anyways, I'm going to get this car cleaned up, take it back, and then we'll head home and end the video.
Fuck, I'm done.